The History of Poway Interfaith Team, also called POINT. Our mission statement is to consort with followers of all religions in a spirit of friendliness and fellowship, to increase community awareness and understanding of different faith traditions, to stand with all faiths for human rights and justice. On January 15, 2006, the Baha'is of Poway, California held an interfaith conference called World Religion Day. World Religion Day was initiated in 1950 by the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of the United States, and it is often celebrated on the third Sunday of January. The day has been marked by hosting, discussions, conferences, and other events which foster understanding and communication between the followers of all religions. Its purpose is to call attention to the harmony of spiritual principles and the oneness of the world's religions and to emphasize that world religion is the motivating force for world unity. At the 2006 World Religion Day, the Baha'is brought together a panel of religious leaders from different faith groups in the community. Groups such as Baha'i, Buddhist, Sikh, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, New Thought, and Muslim. At the conclusion of the event, the speakers spoke together about the need to gather more regularly and agreed to meet to discuss it further. On Friday, February 17, 2006, at the All Faith Center in Poway, the group met to discuss ways they could promote interfaith understanding and awareness through education in the schools and community. They loosely formed the group as the Poway Interfaith Educators, then changed it to the Poway Interfaith Council, and later changed it again to the Poway Interfaith Team. Over the years, its activities and members spread throughout San Diego, and the group became referred to as POINT. Their first project, to assemble eight faith leaders from different faiths and open up an evening once a week where the community would be invited to gather and learn about each of the faiths. Each speaker had an hour, including offering a taste of their faith's ethnic food. This event became Point's yearly Interfaith Summer Nights. Interfaith Summer Nights in 2006 was held at the Community Church of Poway. The expectation was about 30 people a night and over 60 to 80 came. It featured eight different faith speakers over an eight week period. It was open, free to the public, and there was fun, food, entertainment, and wisdom. Hello, my name is Reverend Dr. Abigail Albert, and I am the Executive Director of the Poway Interfaith Team, lovingly known as POINT. One of our very first events was called Interfaith Summer Nights, and this was a time where we invited people from different faiths come to speak about their faith traditions so that we could learn more about them and their beliefs. And what I began to realize, I would nudge my husband Steve and I said, I must be a Baha'i because I believe what they're saying. I must be Buddhist. I believe what they're saying. I believe what the Hindus are saying, what the Jewish rabbi is saying. I found out that there was such commonality in all the faith traditions. They all had the same values, the virtues and the love of humankind and the compassion that they have. And I believed in all that too. And one of the most important things is the oneness of all humanity, which really was reflected in what they were saying. The ways in which we celebrate our faith, different faith traditions may be different. It could be in the way we believe in how we speak to God or Allah or Jesus or the, the God of your understanding, whether it's in our dress, the different ways we dress, or the way we pray, or even our rituals may be different. But there is a golden thread that runs through all traditions, and that's the thread of love. And to me, that is the most important thing of all. Hi, I'm Rick Patton, First Treasurer of Point. Our very first Interfaith Summer Nights event was in 2006. 
This educational and community event was held at the Community Church of Poway weekly. It highlighted speakers from many faith traditions to share their beliefs and values. It was very well attended. After one of these evenings, I was standing with Deirdre Merrill, our first president, and Abigail Albert, our secretary at the time, when a gentleman came up and looked at us and said, you have to keep this interfaith education going. It is so important. He then handed me a bill and left. I looked down and realized it was $100. All three of us looked up to thank the man, but he was nowhere to be seen. An angel in disguise, obviously. I then said, I guess it's time to open a bank account. In 2007, Point participated in Baha'i World Religion Day. Over 100 people came to learn about interfaith. There were eight holy texts. Children from all faiths were involved and we were inspired. In 2008, our bylaws were completed and our nonprofit status was granted. Our logo was created and our website was designed. We were official. In 2008, our programs expanded and so did our friends. In August of 2008, we had the Interfaith Weekend Experience. Later that year, we participated in Prayers for Peace. We also participated in the Interfaith Celebration at the Unity Center. And again, we held Interfaith Summer Nights. Hello, my name is Robert Enyart, and I'm the uh, president uh, treasurer of Point. This is my wife, Sidel, uh, and she's been the past president of the Power Interfaith team. And we are both members of the Unification Church founded by the Reverend and Mrs. Sun Myung Moon. When we first began our interaction with the Power Interfaith team uh, as an interfaith organization, uh, we immediately became aware that this was a place that we could discuss and talk about uh, various faiths without fear of any repercussions uh, or being marginalized because our beliefs didn't necessarily line up with anybody else. And instead of criticizing each other, we embrace perspectives and we actually marveled at how uh, religions developed in different regions and in different ages and still have similar core values of morality, family, human value and reverence towards our Creator. If you study the history of humankind, you'll find that the cultural spheres around the world developed around religions. Uh, religion is a cornerstone of any society. It's uh, the origin of the moral compass that guides the various, our gov various governments through which we derive our laws for standards of behavior towards each other and hopefully to strengthen our families. I remember years ago, Reverend Moon challenged us. He said uh, we could be an observer to history or we could be a participant. Now, every generation is a historical period and we live in a nation where everybody's life matters. Uh, you are important and I would invite you to see what we're all about and see if you discover what we have. Uh, we look forward to meeting you. God bless you and your family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Point received national recognition when we joined North American Interfaith Network in 2008. Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Steve Albert. I'm one of the founders of the Poway Interfaith Team. And when we started looking at all the wonderful different faiths that were around and how we were similar to them, we thought we were pretty much the only ones doing it. And then we found the, the North American Interfaith Network. And all of a sudden we found people all over North America who were doing the work we were doing. And then we were directed to the Parliament of World Religions. And at that conference in 2009, we found 8,000 people from 80 countries all over the world wanting people to learn about each other's faith. It was wonderful. It was incredible. And that's how we grew. By the end of 2008 and into 2009, 
point had more expansion, more programs, more faiths got involved with us, and we began more involvement with other interfaith groups. In November of 2008, at the Community Church of Poway, we held our first all-faith Thanksgiving service. In the uh, July and August, we again had interfaith summer nights. And in August, we sent some representatives to the North American Interfaith Network in Unity Village, Missouri. Our future is in good hands and we are so blessed. For the first time in 2009, Point sent representatives to the Parliament of World Religions, which was held in Melbourne, Australia. 8,000 people attended from 80 faiths throughout the world. By 2011, we had kept growing. We were so inspired that we had 16 member communities and two friends of Point who had joined our interfaith team. It all started for me with a personal invitation from Roberta from Community Church of Poway. Roberta heard about my interfaith work in advocating for justice for workers, and she invited me to the next point meeting. I attended my first point meeting in March of 2015 and immediately felt that I was among my people. This, at this meeting, it was the first time that the point representatives were had the proposal of being asked to sponsor a NAIN Connect conference. NAIN is the North American Interfaith Network, and the Connect conference is held every other year. I listened to the responses from folks who expressed both pride in being asked to organize such an important event and those with hesitancy that they could do so in such a short time. I had just been on a planning team for a large conference and I felt welcome to share my thoughts that 15 months was plenty, time, plenty, plenty of time to plan such an event, although I had never even heard of Maine until that evening. That was it. I was all in from that point forward with Point. We did decide to offer to organize the Nain Connect Conference for 2017 instead of 2016 to give ourselves more time to plan. This time was well utilized. To this day, people from Canada, Mexico, and throughout the United States from, from Nain share about their experiences and wonderful stories about the Nain Connect Conference in San Diego in 2017. We had wonderful keynote speakers, workshops, expert panels, and worship. The expeditions and experiences were some of my favorites, among also the wonderful food. The theme of the 2017 Name Connect Conference was Harmony and was held on the campus of UCSD the second week of August. This initiated the second week of August being declared Interfaith Awareness Week. POINT is a local organization with global connections, influence, and friends throughout the globe. In 2010, Point began to bring on the youth. We began with an interfaith dialogue as a senior project. There was a youth panel from eight faith traditions sharing their experience in outreach, a walk to in genocide. All of these events shared the young adult perspective. Today, Point includes 18 faith-based communities, three organizations, six individual members, and one honorary member. Point continues to promote education and understanding of all religions and those spiritually based at every event. We welcome you to join and attend any or all future Point events.